Um, so first of all, I'm coming from a, a GIS software company, so I'm not the one who's using this data, I'm not the one even who's using the applications. So um, <clears throat> we don't really deal with the results of this test much. However, we were listening to the complaints uh, about quality of the SKS in the recent past, uh, uh, in the recent few weeks and months, and we kind of wanted to take some time to make a theoretical analysis of why, what is actually the behind it. And uh, we strongly believe that the quality of the LPS data is uh, one of the most important things because it leads to the quality of the whole system, not only the LPS, but also the applications and controls and all things like that. Uh, however, when we are talking about the quality of the data, we have to be aware of how to measure the quality. And this might not be as uh, simple as it seems. Uh, this will not be a theoretical uh, presentation, but uh, there were, uh, we spent a couple of months, two of our mathematicians, working on this. Uh, and if somebody is interested, there is a supplementary material to this presentation available on our website, and you can see all the background. But I will only go into results. First, the aerial imagery. This is something that uh, has been talked already in the past two presentations, and this is something where, uh, uh, we, uh, where we see all, uh, one part of the problem. We treat the aerial imagery as kind of the pure gold. We use it. The only thing that really matters uh, is how old it is, you know, whether it, it has been updated in the past three years. And, but this, you know, if you, if you take a look at how the orthophoto is created, there is an airplane flying in the uh, uh, line shooting all the images, and then they combine these images, uh, and of course they don't fit, and so they do some transformations. And uh, um, I don't know whether anybody can tell me that this uh, process doesn't cause any problems. This is, by the way, from our uh, orthophoto image somewhere there in the northwest uh, of the country. But so, what is actually the error? Uh, um, when we are talking about the orthophoto, we are always talking about the absolute position error. Uh, you know, we're talking about one meter of the root mean square error. But this is uh, sort of the absolute thing, and we say, oh, but this is not important for the area because if the whole parcel is shifted uh, one meter or even two meters, it doesn't matter because the area doesn't change. And the thing that matters for the area is the relative position error. But we don't know what, you know, how how big this is, and we ask quite a, a few of the persons, and we didn't get any clear answer about it. So what we did, we took uh, 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 the data from orthophoto production in 2006 from Slovenia, and these are the control points, the errors on the vectors of the control points. Um, here the, the, the scale, you know, these numbers are uh, 10 kilometers between 510 and 520. So this is not the parcel level, but still what I, don't see in this image is some correlation. So uh, uh, yes, there is a correlation, I'm sure, uh, on the parcel level, but to what amount? Uh, actually, the, the, the most, you know, the, the best answer that we could get is that the relative position error is somewhere in amount of the size of the pixel. So in the case of Slovenia, it's 25 centimeters. Uh, um, if, there, if the imagery has a lower resolution, of course, it is bigger. And how does this apply to the area? If you imagine a one parcel, uh, uh, rectangle with four points, uh, you, you can as assume that each of those points can be shifted a bit uh, um, in each of the directions. So it can be, the parcel can be like this, or could be like this, or could be like this. And all of these parcels, they have uh, different uh, areas, although they are the same parcel. And so what we did in our, uh, in our exercise is actually we modeled for each parcel all of the, well, lots and lots of possibilities of how the, the points can move, and then we compare the areas uh, to get some results. Um, apart from the relative position accuracy, the one, two, two parameters were really important. One is the size of the polygon. Of course, the smaller the polygon, the larger impact this error will have to it. And the second one, as noted by Polish, uh, is also the shape of the polygon. The long polygons are problematic, and so we took the, uh, we, we, we compared the examples of a square, which is the most perfect example of the parcel, and then we, take, we took one long one, which is 10 to 1, so 10 times, uh, uh, um, the width is 10 times the height, and then we took one very, very long one, which, is, which has a ratio of 1 to 30. So why did we choose the 1 to 30? Because in Slovenia we have such parcels. This is an example of 2 meters uh, width and 300 meters long, and 
<laughs> and these are the results. So this is the result of the uncertainty of area modeled uh, um, with our analysis. On the uh, bottom scale, there is an uh, area in hectares, and on the left, there is uncertainty in percent. And there you can see five, seven percent. The blue one is a square, green one is one to ten, and the red one is one to thirty. And um, what you see is, of course, the smaller the area, the bigger this uncertainty is, but also the, um, the more long the polygon is, the bigger the uncertainty. Area photography is only one of them. The second one is digitization. Here we, we can see a, a, a parcel which looks quite okay on the level of uh, 1 to 1500, but if you take a look at it into uh, more details, you see that it's not digitized exactly correct. And um, this can be I don't know, maybe due to the movement of the mouse just before he clicked, or the, the scale of the digitization was too big to be accurate, or some other reasons. But these this, uh, mistakes happen. And to kind of test this idea, we did a strange looking polygon and asked 25 of the people who were really kind of uh, um, capable of AKS digitizing to digitize this uh, border, which is clear. You know, it, it, it's a straight border, well, not straight, but it's clear border. And these are the results. Uh, there is definitely not one line, there are 25 lines, and uh, they don't, they're not the same. The, the, actually, the width of the border was somewhere around one meter. So this is just a test case of the 25 people, which is not uh, good enough for a proper statistics uh, to assume anything out of it. So likely there are Chinese people in the world, and they did a really grand scale uh, test, and they figured out that the digitization error depends on the uh, angle uh, that you want to digitize. So the, 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 sharper, the sharper the angle, the bigger the uh, error is. And um, they kind of come, came with the estimate that the digitization error is 1.6 pixels. And this means pixels on the monitor. And so then if you, depends on which, what kind of monitor you have and what uh, scale you are digitizing it, it comes to the error of half a meter or even one meter on the uh, um, one to two thousand. So we took the uh, 40 centimeters of this error, and here again are the results. On the left screen you can see the same chart as I was so, uh, showing you earlier, only it's in logarithmic scale, because it's easy, easier to uh, show. And on the right side you have the area imagery, imagery error and the digitization, digitization error combined. So what you see is that the um, error are larger, that the line shifts to the right, which means that the error is uh, larger.